What is up YouTube, this is Fortress Trigger. Uh, I want to be talking about something about what's going on with the tournament power cards and the prices. So this was recommended by my friend Giovanni. He mentioned the fact that basically when we were talking about this in the WhatsApp uh, chat, whatever you do, which is this site here, if you guys want to go ahead and download for your computer or for your, for your uh, cell phones, it could be for either uh, iPhones, Androids, or you can also use this for Macs or uh, Windows. Go ahead and download links and be pretty good. Now, anyway, uh, let's talk about what's been going on with the prices. Now, ridiculously, yesterday, my friend, uh, Noel, basically, he had to show the price of the hit card super rare from the tournament power, and it's ridiculous. So, here I am, already on TCG Player. Let's just go ahead and just try to see uh, the, the high rarities of what these cards are going for, because the game is already, like, the, the, the box already came out just on Friday, and already the, the, the cards is just ridiculously high, so let's click on Super Rares, and then I'm just going to show what's been going on. Okay, so if you notice here, the main squad is like about $8 on market price, but in other, if you go to the other sites of the um, other game stores that are on, on online that you can order from, including like ones from PBG as well, you basically get like a lot of higher prices than the market price, because market prices just show like what's close to, but other stores sell it from like higher prices, which is ridiculous. Most cards are not as expensive like this. You know, Jaren's like, oh, six bucks, not bad. Five dollars, you know, that's a good number. Yeah, Tree of the memory. Okay, but then let's go to the real stuff. The real reasons. Okay, so this card just went down like about, it was like a lot yesterday. I promise you that. This is like seventeen twenty-seven. dollars uh, But look at the prices here. That's $30 for just the foreseen hit card. Let's take a look at that. So I click, so we're going to click here. Alright, and uh, we already know what this guy does. Uh, if you're really here, I'm not going to read it because I did it. So, look at this. Market price, $29.93 is ridiculous. And it's normal. It's the medium, but Jesus Christ. And Pro Play Games, here we are. The PBG, the number one the Dragon Ball Super Card Game franchise of the, of the whole fucking world. But look at this. $30 just for this card. And I understand why it's so good, but come on, guys. We already just started the set. And, you know, I feel like we're just because from tournaments or anything else, and people were preparing this, which I understand that. But the game already itself is going so high with these cards, and it's been almost a year with this set. And already it catches up to a point that this could be the next Yu-Gi-Oh! prize problema. And the reason I'm saying that is because Yu-Gi-Oh! was the most expensive game ever. It especially got more expensive during the endings of Synchros, the rise of Xyz, and then... Uh, pendulums and then now links and, and then of course the game is not as expensive as it used to be but it's just ridiculous that's just a whatsapp here from one of my friends i'll take a look there uh but that's just it's just it though and i love dragon ball because it's it's one of the very best games i got to play but i want to play the game to play the game and i can understand this is what they do for business and everything but thanks to pbg and bandai and all this the game is already itself like just ridiculously a little expensive i'm not saying you don't have to play the game I'm not trying to blame anyone, but this is just unbelievable. $30 within a few days, okay? And I'm recording this on a Tuesday, so you guys know just in case. And this is just unfair for a lot of people because my friend wanted to play this card. I know he can't be able to play this card probably for a while until this card ever goes down, if it's not good. But even so, if it's not, but the fact is with its effect, I don't think it's ever going to go down for a while. Maybe even longer than that. It's just unbelievable. And here we have here the full play games actual your man here, so you can tell it's the same price. It's just unbelievable. And, and as a matter of fact, you can even go ahead and check on the Pro Play Games uh, site. Uh, so I click on the tab here. Uh, sorry. All right. So we're here on the Pro Play Games, which again number one in the Dragon Ball Super here in Miami. And yes, we. I am the one from Miami, just so you know, guys. So I go to that one. I know Peter Katani. I. Uh, he's the reason I got into the Golden Frieza deck. So, props to him, and really nice guy, you know, but, you know, even though you're the nicest guy, you are the craziest player, and I know that. Uh, here we go, we're gonna click tournament power, and just for the fact, look at this. Usually this is like, they do normal price in TCC play, but this is unbelievable. $30, $15, uh, look at this, they, they sell this for, and we just saw right recently about $5 on TCC player, this is like $11. 14 12 this is ridiculous guys and because it's PBG and I remember the rock game shop was ridiculous but look at this even these cards of rares are just going high oh, 
it's just unbelievable how the game is cheap. And I know for the fact it's and the problem is I know there might not be selling more of the boxes because I know it was just like a small thing. So I don't know what else to say, guys. So my friends wanted me to do this uh, to talk about what's been going on with this, how the game's been very expensive, and I can understand. And uh, I hope to hear from more about them, and then we'll see. Uh, so let me get, know what you guys think about the prices for the tournament power, and let's see what's going to happen with the second tournament power coming up later this year, as well as Series 4. Again, we'll be talking about that on Friday when they release us uh, certain specialties, including the Star Decks. Alright? And uh, with that, I'll be also be doing my updated Jiren and Bergamo deck profiles. Uh, reason is because I'll be updating them is because we already have um, the super rares. And I want to be showing my Jiren. I also have to adapt it a bit more. I'm already out of the super rare, so I want to fix it a bit. So with that, guys, I'll take my leave. Let me know what you think about this whole situation with the prices of the cars, and including the turn of power. And I'll know in the comments section. And thanks for watching. This is Sports Striker, signing off.